patient is in the decortica position with the upper extremities in flexion, the lower extremities in extension, um, reflecting that the brain stem motor centers are working, but we don't have modulation of those centers from the corticospinal tracts and their connections to the brain stem centers. If we now go a step lower as far as the level of dysfunction and eliminate the function of the rubrospinals, we go from decorticate to decerebrate posturing. The lower extremities stay in extension. Now the upper extremities are in extension because we don't have a, any type of regulation or modulation of the vestibulospinal or the reticulospinal tracts, but we've eliminated the influence of the rubrospinal tracts at this point in time. If there's to be further progression and the patient has further deterioration and we now eliminate the function of the vestibulospinal and the reticulospinal tracts, the patient would then become flaccid. And dead.